This video will showcase how the ray tracing performance on gaming laptops has evolved over the past few years. Nvidia announced their first set of laptop GPUs with the ray tracing in 2019. So where do we stand today when it comes to ray tracing performance? Let's just jump right into it. Our test setup features the Zephyrus S15 with the full wattage Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 Super Max P and the big boy Zephyrus S17 with the top tier GeForce RTX 3080 running at up to 140 watts with dynamic boost. Performance will be tested in Battlefield 5 campaign mode. So without any further ado, let's roll. At 1080p ultra settings, no ray tracing, the 2070 Super delivers high frame rates. Turn on ray tracing and the frame rates are still in the 80s. Seems pretty good, isn't it? Well, don't get too excited just yet because the frame rates are map dependent and map location dependent as well. So let's go somewhere else. Take a look at the performance numbers coming out of the GPU now. The performance with ray tracing off is still pretty good. However, the performance in ray tracing is nothing out of the ordinary. The laptop is even seen cooking itself as it was pushing as high wattage as it possibly can in order to maximize performance in S15's thin chassis. But all this to no avail when ray tracing is on. So this is the kind of GPU performance one can expect from a T1 GPU in 2020. But now the important question is, So it's time we put the RTX 3080 to the test. Right off the bat, full HD ultra settings, no ray tracing, the RTX 3080 almost turns this game into an eSports title. The frame rates speak for themselves. In fact, if I wasn't screen recording this footage right now, the FPS would have even exceeded the 200 mark at times. So understand that there's a bit of performance penalty involved due to the screen capture running in the background. Now let's compare both GPUs head on and see how much faster the 3080 traces those rays. So the difference is pretty evident. 2070 Super struggles to maintain even 60 FPS, whereas the 3080 maintains a much more respectable frame rate at all times. So we are talking around 30% uplift in ray tracing performance in just a matter of one year. So that's pretty good. Now you wouldn't buy a 3080 solely for 1080p gaming, would you? Time to bump up the resolution to 1440p. So this is the 3080 at QHD with ray tracing off and as you can see, the frame rates are pretty solid. In fact, the performance at 1440p is very similar to what the 2070 Super was getting at 1080p resolution. So it seems that the 3080 has the ability to retain similar levels of performance as the last generation at a much higher 1440p resolution. Turn on ray tracing at 1440p and this is pretty much the worst case scenario for this GPU as we are stacking both high resolution as well as ray tracing at the same time. The frame rates remain above 60 at all times, so the game still remains very much playable. However, the 3080 is quite close to its limits now and if you need more performance, you'll have to turn on DLSS. So this is pretty much everything the best laptop GPU of 2021 has to offer. The 3080 still delivers solid performance and offers a decent uplift over the last generation in terms of ray tracing as well. And I hope that the future GPUs continue to get better, especially when it comes to ray tracing. By all means, this is not the end of this video. We shall revisit this comparison as and when we get our hands on the newer upcoming laptop GPUs. So let's wrap up this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little presentation. So please like, share and subscribe to Gamers and IT Paradise. Join us on Discord using the link in the video description. So this is Gamers and IT Paradise signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.